If I walk over there and sit next to Mr. Johnson and carry my phone, does Google know that I was sitting here and then I moved over there? Uh, yes or no? I genuinely don't know without knowing I'm what I'm shocked you don't know. Do you or do you not collect identifiers like name, age, and address? Yes or no? If you're creating an account, yeah, uh, yes, and using an account, yes. yes. Specific search histories when person types something into a search bar. If you have search history turned on, yes. Device identifiers like IP address or IMEI. Uh, depending on the situation, we could be collecting it, yes. GPS signals, Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth beacons. There may be situations, yes. The GPS, yes. Uh, yes. Contents of emails and Google documents. We store the data, but we don't read or look at G your Gmail. But you have access to them. Uh, as, a, as a company, we have access to them, yes. The internet has slipped further and further into the hands of corporate giants. These corporations claim they protect the interests of their users, but time and again, they cross the line. From data breaches, to invasion of privacy, to full-on censorship, they are letting everyone know who is in control. That is, until the people took matters into their own hands and began building Web 3.0. another major setback for Facebook, the social media giant already under fire for not protecting users' private information, now admitting it's been hacked again. This time, many are wondering how safe is their personal information. There is going to be something, a paramount moment, whether it's a massive deplatforming or, you know, some type of censorship, and immediately everybody will realize that there needs to be another way, there has to be another way, and there is another way. And, and I think you're gonna see Web3 really be pushed right into the forefront. Social media platform Twitter has been fined for a glitch that made private tweets public. Legacy-based systems, legacy-based individuals, whether it's the financial institution or the technology sector or the healthcare sector, whatever, Web3 is a way for them to be palatable with moving to the next iteration of technology because it looks like something that they already know. They don't have to think of it as blockchain. They don't have to think of it as crypto. They think of it as the next internet.